Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 18th, 2020. Well, yesterday we saw a nice little relief rally, and I had my fingers crossed and toes crossed and everything I could think of to, to hope for another follow through to day today, but that seems to have been a pipe dream. So, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle in, and get ready for the morning market prep video on this hump day in March. Well, doggone it, um, with all of the hopefulness that we saw yesterday moving toward the close, um, that is being wiped out this morning in another overnight reversal, a very violent price action um, in the futures last night, whipping back and forth, Asian markets seesawed back and forth overnight. And now we're looking at a limit down situation again, once ag uh, again this morning with futures pointing to a substantial loss here with the Dow gapping down, wiping out virtually all of yesterday's hopeful gains. I got to tell you the, the the danger of this market is so extreme and um, if you're an option trader, it's just uh, uh, virtually impossible to trade uh, anything uh, because option spreads are so wide, um, bid ask spreads are, are just uh, absolutely nutty, and the prices of those options, because of the extremely high implied volatility, um, have become made them almost untradeable at least for most folks even even those that have the tolerance for risk to just sell naked puts or something like that um, have to be willing to suffer just tremendous damage in these wild swings and so really the best course of action for most traders is just to remain on the sidelines protecting your capital and as much as i would like to say hey i believe we're closer to a bottom than anything else and we can maybe start picking up some of the value in these companies, it's going to be really, really difficult for most folks to handle the stress of these thousand point swings overnight. I know most retail traders are not in the situation to be able to do that. So once again, we kind of have to stand aside um, waiting unless you're a very quick intraday trader. And let's take a look at some of the technicals here um, in the charts. Uh, we just have a dismal situation here over Overall, as you can see, uh, pushing down here um, into a, a level of support that hopefully can hold. But I got to tell you, with the volatility that we're seeing this morning, it really would not be a big surprise to see us fail that level and push on down here toward this um, stronger level of price support in the chart. I hate to even bring that up because oh, the pain of, of additional sell-off like that would be pretty, pretty awful. But I could see that situation happening if we can't um, catch some support here soon and actually get a follow-through in relief. Clearly, um, the virus situation is um, getting worse, not better. Um, numbers continue to grow here in the United States. However, the actions of the government, as, as the, even though they may seem extreme, I think are probably appropriate um, at the moment because what they're trying to do is curb the growth of this virus. And even though this is gonna damage a lot of businesses and affect a lot of folks in their jobs, um, it may be the best thing to do to um, get us on the road to recovery faster by doing uh, some of these extreme actions. Um, last night, uh, Nevada closed all of its uh, gaming floors, casino floors, um, in, um, in one fell swoop, which is obviously going to be pretty pretty rough on Nevada, and um, it, it even required me to cancel a trip that I had planned into that area um, to do some hiking. So pretty ugly situation um, across the nation here, and Kansas has even made a very, uh, uh, they're the first, to, at least that I know,
know of to cancel uh, schools for the rest of the year, to close schools for the rest of the year, not cancel schools, but close schools for the rest of the year. What an amazing thing this um, uh, virus is creating here and an uncertain situation, certainly for the market. I really feel for all of those folks that are losing jobs or finding themselves furloughed right now. Um, my honestly, I, I feel for you all. Um, it, it's it's a tremendous it's a tremendous effort to try and slow the growth of this virus, but um, the impacts to you folks um, are extreme, and I truly, truly feel for everyone who is losing jobs or uh, being furloughed um, as a result of this. And for the small business owners out there, I just can't imagine the stress that um, you are feeling unable to open your doors and uh, uh, the pain of that has to be extreme. So um, as we weather this, one of the things we have to remember, everyone, is as Americans, one of the best things that we can do is just come together, help support each other, um, do the best job that we can, try to avoid getting caught up in the drama of the news and, and all of the, the negativity that's out there, and try to remain positive. Remember, as a country, we need to come together in things like this. This is, this is really a, a, a war against a microscopic virus. And if we don't come together, if we don't work together, if we don't support each other, um, this is going to really be devastating. Um, well, much more devastating than it already is for the market. So just a word of encouragement there. Try to stay on the positive side. When this is over, things will get a lot better. Um, that You're probably saying, well, thank you, Captain Obvious, for that one. But um, we, we're going to have to just ride this out, and uh, though it is going to be very, very painful, if we stay positive, there's going to be great opportunity when this is over. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, um, uh, truly brutal um, in this move. We pushed down here uh, to a little bit of a price level and bounced back up, as you can see. Um, I drew another line down here where we could easily see that 2018 low in the SPY be tested. And I hate to even mention that, but if that were to not hold, you can see we're gapping down substantially this morning. There's a much bigger level of support all the way down here at 214 area. Hopefully we don't see something like that occur. But you know, who would have thought that we would have dropped this much this far? So I think anything is possible. We have to have our eyes open for those potential possibilities um, if those bears come back in strong. Let's take a look at the queues. Now, the queues um, rallied up nicely yesterday, um, really strong move back up. And we came up here and tested that 500 day moving average. And this morning we're giving it up. But the good news is, is we're not giving up everything that we gained yesterday we are still holding this level of support at least at the open we'll have to see if the sellers pile on um, in that situation um, hopefully we can hold on in here if that level slips well we're looking at substantially lower here in the market IWM that poor Russell um, just struggle, struggle, struggle in the Russell, but we did get a rally back up yesterday, uh, pushing back up into this resistance level. But as you can see this morning, we are looking at a failure of that and virtually wiping out yesterday's gains and retesting the low. So pretty ugly market. Um, one of the things that the market seems to be trying to do is really push the federal government for more stimulus and of course they're trying to do that um, we're waiting on something to be voted on uh, an, an early bill to be voted on in the senate and now they're trying to push for another 1.2 trillion dollar stimulus bill that will actually send checks to um, every household in the united states wild and crazy times that we live in right now and i just don't know if we can buy our way out of a virus outbreak um, we can certainly try and that's what we've we've been trying to do but i'm not sure um, that's going to help much uh, particularly if this virus 
um, gets worse than what we currently expect. So let's take a look at the VIX. The uh, VIX is still extremely high. Um, closed up here at nearly a 76 handle. And this morning's gap down, probably going to push us back up here toward these highs, maybe even new highs in the VIX. That's making it almost impossible to uh, find good quality trades in options. They are so extremely expensive and the bid ask spreads are really, really wide as market makers are working to protect themselves in this uh, crazy, wild, uh, violent price moves that we are seeing in the market. So be very, very careful. Now, for those who, who are wanting to pick up some value stocks, and I'm kind of in that camp, I want to start buying, uh, nibbling in on some um what I would consider to be longer term holds, I'm going to have to go in and, and on stock purchases. But I got to tell you, it's very, very difficult to um, envision the kind of volatility that you may have to sit through if you do that. And for most folks, for most traders, in, including myself, I'm not sure I have the tolerance for risk to um, put some money out there and then see a two or 3,000 point um, swing um, overnight. So pretty rough days to try and trade. Maybe the best thing to do is continue to just stay on the sidelines protecting your capital while these wild gyrations continue. Let's take a look at T2122. Uh, now, really T2122 is not being at all helpful here. We've been dragging along here on the ocean floor for a long time. And this morning looking at a substantial gap down is gonna push us right back down there as this extreme sell-off continues. Um, not much we can glean from that other than the pressure on the market remains very, very strong and very, very difficult uh, to handle. So anyone that is a very, very fast intraday trader can probably be, um, is probably cheering right now because there's a lot of price movement, but um, there's very few folks that can stand that kind of volatility. Even uh, very experienced day traders will find that to be pretty darn challenging. So rough days, um, but the good news is this will too pass eventually and there'll be better days of hit ahead. Let's take a look at our economic calendar uh, for today. And we do have some things that could move us around here on the economic calendar. As you can see, we have housing starts coming out here at 8.30 this morning and then we have the petroleum status report all at 10.30 um, this morning. Both of those can move the market and typically you'd want to really focus in on those numbers but I think um, overall the market's going to be focused on what happens at the government level with any stimulus, where are we going to go from here and we're not focusing too much on those numbers right now. Um, on the earnings front, we have 60 companies reporting earnings today. And of those earnings reports, we do have um, some notables to pay attention to. Um, GIS, General Mills, is reporting today. You can see uh, um, this defensive sector company, Serial, seems to be holding up quite well. Had a nice rally yesterday. Looking at a gap down here this morning, but we'll want to watch that closely as it reports um, earnings. Uh, we have five below retailer five below uh, I can't imagine um, this is going to move the market much but you can see um, it is gapping down a little bit this morning as a result of the sell-off in the market uh, GES GES another retailer um, struggling here massive sell-off uh, who knows where that will be after um, this morning's earnings um, HABT um, reporting earnings today. Can't imagine that's going to move us around. TLRD is another somewhat notable uh, this morning, but um, down here now in a dollar range. Can't imagine it's going to um, impact us um, any at all. Um, TCOM, er, whoops, TCOM um, reporting this morning once again. Um, 
ugly, ugly patterns here in these charts. Unlikely that this is going to move us around. And the last one I have is WSM to pay attention to. And, and that one's gapping substantially lower this morning as we just continue to see the devastation uh, that this virus is creating in the markets. So unlikely we're going to see a lot of focus on these numbers this morning. It's going to be more focused in what happens in these wild gyrations and um, whether or not we're going to get more of a bailout or stimulus plan from the government. Let's take a look um, at a few things that could set up. But before we do, if you guys could do me a favor. Um, if you could, if this is the first time you've seen these videos and haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that. Click that subscribe button and then also click that thumbs up, uh, excuse me, the, the bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, I try to put out the best quality content I can. I can and try to be a little bit of a voice of reason uh, for most traders because there's so much hype and drama out there um, that uh, I know a lot of folks are are being damaged chasing around that uh, drama. So right now, if um, if you're finding yourself um, just really uh, feeling almost desperate. Um, it may be wise to just stand aside. Remember, we don't have to trade. Um, the market will be here tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that. I can um, I, I can understand for those of you that are holding longer term positions, the, the damage that you're feeling, the, the major pressure that you may be feeling. But if you've held through this much of a pullback, um, you may as well hang in there um, on these uh, trades because I think eventually we're going to find a little bit of certainty in this market. Things may stabilize and we can start rallying up out of here. But I understand the pressures of that. But if you find these videos to be helpful, uh, please do me a favor and click that uh, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment so that we can continue to grow the channel if this content um, you find to be valuable to you. So with that, let's take a look at um, a few things that we might be able to take a peek at. A couple of things like... Um, uh, Kroger. Kroger has been quite strong, holding up well. It's one of those things that um, um, it's it's a consumable. We're going to need groceries. Um, that's been holding up well. Um, pretty violent in its price move. And um, yesterday there was news that they've hired 2,000 employees trying to keep up with de uh, the new demand coming in. So keep an eye on Kroger. There may be some opportunities there. And particularly if you're capable of trading uh, very, very short term time frames, you know, say a 15 minute chart, there has been some nice. Um, swings um, in this if you're capable of trading those really quick moves um, in uh, the market. But um, those kind of stocks holding up. Um, you saw CLX, CLX, um, Clorox moving sharply yesterday to the upside. Um, they, their products are being bought up um, um, strongly, um, sanitizing cleansers and things like that. Um, and they are benefiting from this in these extreme moves. So keep an eye on that. Again, General Mills is, is one to maybe pay attention to. Um, obviously, we're going to continue to need cereal. And with all the kids staying at home, there's probably going to be a lot of cereal need. Um, staying home and out of school, there'll be a lot of cereal need eaten over the next uh, few weeks and months uh, as parents tried to deal with um, uh, kids being home from school and trying to maintain some kind of income uh, while uh, working from home. Um, so watch something like that. Another place um, you might want to look is um, bonds. Um, we've seen a pretty wild price action in these bonds. We've begun this downtrend um, in the chart and you can see we're looking at possibly a little bit lower this morning. Um, this may continue to sell off. There may be a short opportunity here 
um, in TLT. Another place you know you can certainly look is like uh, the volatility VXX. Now VXX has been extremely wild, but once again, if we were to look at a very short-term chart, there are definitely tradable patterns in here on short-term charts on VXX if you have the skill necessary to trade such fast price action. Um, we're seeing we're seeing some rally back up um, potential moves you know um, um, Microsoft trying to hold on um, gapping down here this morning rallying back up to the 200 if we can finally catch a day of follow-through we may actually see more of a sustained rally in those but if we can begin to hold lows um, that might give us some help um, or some hope that we have reached some of the lows in the selling but keep an eye on some of those big old mainstay companies they might be offer up some opportunities here soon something to look at um, also um, it's pretty obvious that when markets are nervous um, precious metals seems to be a place um, where folks go and we although we've seen really wild price gy gyrations in here and I'm suspecting a lot of the selling that we've seen here has been for selling as people closing out um, portfolios um, and things in 401ks and all kinds of things closing out to protect capital and maybe even some for selling from a margin calls um, uh, um, or requiring uh, uh, some selling in some of these assets to cover losses but as you can see trying to rally back up and may holding a maybe trying to hold above its 200 day moving average and although it's very very violent um, in its moves there may be some opportunities there so hey everyone this is just a tough challenging market and it's going to stay that way probably for a while we have more unknowns um, ahead of us and the market's likely to continue to react pretty violently to those unknowns if if you're one of those folks that um, just don't have the experience to trade really really quick price action and I actually after 30 years I kind of put myself in in uh, that place I don't even I, I don't even feel the need to 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 want to risk my capital in those quick uh, gyrating moves in the market I'm more in the capital preservation um, watching from the sidelines gonna let this settle down before I start re-emerging into the market and trying to pick out some of those good value plays but just be careful protect that capital when this is over we're going to have great opportunities and there's just no need to put yourself at tremendous risk trying to brave a market that is flipping back and forth um, about a thousand points a day um, just protect yourself so everyone have a great day i wish you all the best and we'll talk to you all bright and early thursday morning have a good one